made it to central Riyadh, which is a bit of an older quarter of the city. And uh, the rest of the city basically is quite modern, but you have this sort of old center, uh, as old as it is, let's say, with these little stores and everything. So my hotel is also right here. I just need to find the entrance. Get out of the Uber, it cost me 20 euros or something, but I think it's about 35 kilometers from the airport to central old Riyadh. But it's a truly huge city. Check it out on the map. Very car centered, as you can see. And it's horribly hot. It's at least 36 degrees right now with a warm breeze. It is as if someone blows a hairdryer on you, you know? But here we are, Riyadh. So I've just arrived in Riyadh and this is my hotel room. I have one of the cheaper hotels in Riyadh. This is the uh, Tulip Inn, which is sort of, well, former glory. It used to be a pretty uh, good hotel chain, but nowadays uh, it's a little bit old fashioned. But the price for this hotel was, I believe, uh, 25 to 30 euros a night, if I'm not mistaken. And for that money, I have this uh, pretty large, well, you could call it a suite, I guess, an apartment almost. So indeed it's quite uh, dated, but it doesn't really matter, it's clean. The, uh, the bed is clean. So it's very, very hot and bearable almost. I'm just going to open everything. But I'm in Saudi Arabia, guys. Isn't that interesting? Oppa, that's better. So I'm on the streets of Riyadh, isn't that an experience? Um, going to try and find a restaurant. I'm sort of lost in translation. Like I can read the letters, but I don't know what most of it means. And uh, anyway, we'll just try to fill my stomach for the night. And there's not much of a nightlife to speak of, let's say. It's mostly cafes, obviously. Being a strict Muslim country, there is a... Uh, you can hang out with people, but there's no clubs, obviously, in that sense. So the... First, the first restaurant I tried to locate basically didn't exist or I couldn't find it on the location it was uh, in, in Google Maps so now I'll try to cross this busy boulevard at least there's a bridge there's a lot of car fumes and it's unbearably hot so you cannot really uh, breathe properly you need to acclimatize a bit I suppose to the big city again and especially the hot weather and it doesn't cool down in the evenings either. It's, uh, like I said, a bit of like a blow dryer to your face. But uh, we're here. So it's uh, almost 9.30 in the night and still Riyadh is uh, bustling, as you can see. It's pretty crazy. Now, as I said, Riyadh has a more modern part as well, but I thought I'll stay sort of close to the older part because it's more walkable and I don't have internet for the Uber so I did sort of choose the old part consciously but there is a part with uh, skyscrapers and uh, that sort of jazz so it's not like you catch your first glimpse of this part that you've seen the city because it's quite huge it's 9.30 Wednesday night 24th of May and still very very busy gives me a bit of memories of Cairo where it was also traffic all day long. <laughs> 